My name's um, Arias Casas. I'm a, a pianist, a conductor. I have been living in Vienna for the past 36 years. But I was born in Manila, Philippines, to a uh, musical family. Even though my dad wasn't a professional musician, but she was a music lover. And my mom, just like uh, Dr. Lim Hoko's mom, was also a pianist. I grew up in music because my mother was a pianist. Uh, so I was surrounded with all these records and my mother used to play a lot when I was a, when I was a child. Um, and although I'm a doctor by profession, I really would rather be a musician actually. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess things have come full circle because my mother, my mother was, she, she had just graduated from conservatory in Manila. I think I was in high school or college, early college. I was going through some of her music and I saw this, it looked like a handwritten um, manuscript. And I found out that um, it was dedicated to my mother. So I asked her what it was and she said, well, she received this um, after she graduated from conservatory and it was um, written by an Austrian composer. But the family being very, conser very conservative, her mother said, just ignore it, so she ignored it. But uh, that's how the story began. And things have come full circle because I wanted it archived as well. So I talked to Arias and um, we decided to come up with an album around it. And this is why I'm here. Now, of course, I mean, being uh, an artist living in Vienna, Having heard that uh, there was a certain Seibuk, a composer, Seibuk, who wrote music for a Filipina, it al already struck uh, interest for me. I don't believe the pieces were ever published officially. Even though the titles have something to do with, with Belgium, with Belgian uh, stuff, the melodic line and the harmonies are very Viennese. Things have come full circle because the composition originated in Vienna and now we've record, we're recording it in Vienna. It's so silent in the studio. So it gives you that, uh, that room to find and, and show your authentic self. His mother was actually uh, a fan of the compositions of uh, Johannes Brahms, Chopin, Schumann, Rachmaninoff. It gave me the idea, ah, so if the main focus of this project is actually a dedication to uh, Madame Limhoko, uh, then I should actually include composers who were closest to her heart. He comes with a, an idea and then I try to execute <laughs> his ideas. The name of the foundation is HSTL Foundation for the Piano. HSTL is actually the initials of the name of Dr. Imhoko's mother. Having grown up listening 
the stories about all the, you know, these talented Filipinos and not being able to hear them play. There are not too many recordings that I'm aware of. So I wanted to help promote classical pianists in the Philippines because my brother was a pianist. And I wanted to help younger students so they could become like Professor Cassis, you know. It is a blessing for the young Filipino pianists. So I thought the foundation might be able to help. And I would try to do that by sending some of them to summer festivals in Europe. The other thing I'm trying to do is to archive Filipino pianists so that the uh, younger generation has something to look forward to. Intimacy, I think this term intimacy can be used to the majority of the pieces that were chosen as part of the album. 